Alright guys, welcome to another diesel dog video. Got another day in the life for you here. This is a 12 hour day. I'm getting ready to work. I like uh, doing these with 12 hour days because I like showing that uh, ain't nothing wrong with putting in 12 hours in a day working on these big trucks. So starting 5 a.m. in the shop, first thing I got is this uh, steer spring on a, is a big sterling boom truck for a roofing supply company day prior I did the right side working on the left side driver side now utilizing a jack uh, you could probably two-man this but I like doing things myself and the uh, driver or the passenger side I got out pretty easily with just a floor jack and myself so doing the same thing here swap roo things aren't light they're pretty heavy but uh, I managed to do it myself this new spring up on the jack scooter on over hopefully don't hit any zip ties so you will hold a floor jack up pretty easily clean off your perch make sure both mating surfaces are as clean as can be you don't want any debris or anything uh, getting in between there. Nice clean surface ensures that your torquing process is as accurate as can be. Scooter on up in there. This uh, left side was a little bit tougher than the right side. The hanger bolt or uh, the, sorry, the shackle bolt was hitting the fuel tank. So uh, I had to scooch it forward enough to where I could get that bolt cleared out of there and then pull it out. And then going back in, I had to kind of get it halfway up in there, um, get the bolt through there and then shove it backwards the rest of the way to uh, get your front bolt lined up, which is, uh, I think at this point, yeah. I've already got the bolt in there at this point, so now I'm just lining up my front. Use a pry bar to line up your hole, get a bolt shoved through there. Boom, bolt just went through. Got it pretty well all together, just uh, torquing everything now. I hammered the U-bolts down with three-quarter gun and got him pretty close so this is just uh, rechecking make sure your torque is accurate click click here we got the uh, Union Pacific truck this is a extended cabs got four-door rail truck uh, Freightliner, I believe it was. And the window was hanging up. Wasn't uh, going up and down very smoothly. So taking the door panel off first, see, see what's going on in there. It seemed like it was binding it up. Uh, trying to go up, it would cock over to one side real bad. So I was suspecting a window regulator assembly. Uh, but it actually ended up being the guide that bolts the door on the would be my right side facing it right now in the video uh, the window came out of it not sure why I never saw any indication that anything is broken or misaligned it just popped out of there but these guys are pretty rough on these trucks so I'm wondering if someone didn't have the window all the way down had their arm hanging on it bouncing around down the rails or something I don't know but uh, so I ended up pulling the guide off, lining it back up on, and then uh, just bolting it all back together here. There you can see I'm trying to push it back up on the window. Pretty easy fix here. There, zipper back together. Always double check your work. It's going up and nice, going up and down real nice now. I 
never saw it pop back out or anything. One of the few doors I've actually had the plastic stick back on the door to where I could get the panel on easily. Usually they just keep flopping back down. You gotta get a glob of silicone on a couple spots or something just to get it to hang up in there. Once you get the panel on, it's not gonna fall down. But. The little grommet for the door handle was a pain. Look at that butter. Good to go. In our shop, we pretty much work on anything and everything. This is a uh, ball joint job on a Chevy 2500. It was like an 09 or 10. I don't mind doing the uh, ball joints and suspension work on these pickups. A lot of the guys like to shy away from them. Don't like the pickups or just used to only working on semis or bigger trucks. Uh, but started out in automotive, especially in the area that I'm at. I worked on a lot of farm trucks and a lot of trucks. So I, I kind of like working on the pickups. It's just me swinging that Sterling around at the end of the day uh, for pickup. I just like driving these big trucks. Here we go, a nice easy walk at the end of the day to go get your ski for the drive home. Always a must for a Friday, like going this way, because go over this overpass, see the trains straight down to the arch, downtown St. Louis. On into the garage, spend time with the family. Nice, easy 12-hour day. I want to thank you guys for all your continued support, and I'll see you guys in the next video.